in uh, the year of 2021, the police department recorded 2,305 traffic accidents. Uh, 479 of those accidents resulted in injuries of some kind and, uh, and also seven fatalities for the year 2021. I'm Meredith Ulmer and I'm the assistant city manager here at the city of Rome. I have the privilege tonight of honoring two very special ladies, Mrs. Maxine Strickland and Mrs. Patricia Studdard. These ladies have dedicated at least 20 years of their lives as school crossing guards to ensure that our children go to school safely every single day. That's fine. If you don't want to paint, I won't. Thank you. You're so welcome. Would you like yours to be painted? Yes, ma'am, I will. so much for your we're service. On our 21st. 21st year. I said no, I said over 20 years. So I wouldn't no, know we're going on our 21st year. October. October. Well, this year's occupant protection award is presented to PFC David and Y. <laughs> this year's speed awareness award is presented to PFC Cantrell. This year's Distracted Driving Award is presented to PFC Ricky Mills. This year's DUI Enforcement Award is presented to PFC Scott Kent. While still fulfilling the duties that are required from a patrol officer, PFC White has made over 400 enforcement contacts during 2021. He has assisted the accident investigation team with two serious injury collisions. He's assisted and installed numerous child seats and has doubled the required training hours for the year. For this reason, PFC Coleman White is recognized and awarded the 2021 Award of Excellence from the Uniform Patrol Division. PFC Cantrell proactively seeks to reduce crash numbers on his own rather than be directed to do so. He continuously shows that he is a self-motivator. During this period, PFC Cantrell has also volunteered to work on two large unit responsibilities, Red Speed and the Governor's Challenge. For these reasons, PFC Cantrell is recognized and awarded the 2021 Traffic Officer of the Year. There may be a misconception from the general public to what this is actually about. There are some naysayers out there that say that we recognize officers for just writing tickets. I can get that that may be where that's from. But if you see this from our point of view, Man, this is hard. Okay. Just last night, we got a phone call that we had to go work a crash. Another Roman lost their life. Unnecessary. For what reason? But we have to deal with it. That's a lot of baggage. That this crew carries around. People want to know why we do what we do. I encourage you to come to one of our crash scenes and see what it's like. Pick up a body off the side of the road. It makes you mad. Yeah. For what reason? It's not about tickets. It's about reducing the crash numbers so people can go home at night. Yeah, we make people mad, I get it. They don't want to get a ticket. But from our point of view, it doesn't matter. 
If at the end of the night more people go home safely within our jurisdiction where we have a direct impact, so be it. You don't want to get arrested for drunk driving? Don't drive drunk. Because if you do, we'll find you. You don't want to get a ticket for speeding? Slow down. You don't want getting a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt? Put it on. Put your phone down. It's not that important. I'm tired. These guys are tired. It weighs, head, weighs very heavy on the soul. Thankfully this year, in 2021, we didn't have another child fatality. Makes me sick. But that's our job. That's why we get paid to do it. Right. Some people say, just suck it up, buttercup. It'll be all right. That's fine. We will. Because we'll tell the lie. What I love about this group is that they work hard to enforce the traffic laws. We all get complacent and get that heavy foot. Mm -hmm. We all get complacent. And uh, now that we have the distracted driving laws, uh, inadvertently want to pick that telephone up. Those are very hazardous things to do. Uh, they've seen the worst of the worst.